Hey you all, it's Charlie Merrill with Merrill Performance. So I'm always walking the line in the clinic and on this YouTube channel in talking about the body and the physical changes we see in the body, but also helping people understand that the brain is actually in charge of all of our pain. And it, it becomes very challenging to synthesize these two ideas in clinical practice because I'm trained to try to find biomechanical issues or faults. And we're seeing a trend towards uh, medicalizing or pathologizing some of these normal changes that we see in people's bodies. And I want you to be able to consume what's on my channel and some of the information that I'm sharing um, in a way that doesn't increase fear. Um, so the, the first thing I like to help people understand as a provider is that a lot of the physical changes that I see on the table uh, in my treatment room or when I'm watching people move, those things are secondary. Those things are the result of pain most of the time. If you have a structural injury or some type of soft tissue damage problem, um, some of those physical findings are going to be the result of that trauma. But even in the short term, even when pain has just started, a lot of these changes that we see in the body are uh, a protective reaction by your brain to try to keep you from moving in a way that's going to cause more uh, problems for you. Uh, similarly, when you've had pain for a long time, those things, those changes we see tend to be adaptive and they're more the result of deconditioning. And in either case, um, we can address those things using body-based techniques and using corrective exercise type techniques. What's most important is that the way I relate to it and the way I share it with my clients is, a, is in such a way that it doesn't increase fear. And I'm seeing more of a trend towards medicalizing and pathologizing these body limitations that we see, um, which just makes them more scary. And we know fear causes more pain. So I want you all to know that a lot of these things are transient, they're changeable, they're easy to address on your own, and they're not what are actually causing your pain. And so as a, as a client or as, um, as someone that's consuming this content, it's really important that we then are also able to relate to the brain and the mind as really the driver of the pain. And so in that way, we're looking at addressing symptoms from a top-down approach, where then we're starting to look at life stress and emotions and fear. And these are things that, that uh, maybe relate directly to pain, but they're also things that just relect, uh, relate to day-to-day -day life. They may be things that you wouldn't even attribute to your symptoms. And we're talking about that more and more on this channel. So I just wanted to help kind of bridge that gap between uh, those, those videos where I'm talking about corrective exercise, I'm talking about physical body limitations, I'm talking about weakness or inhibition or biomechanics, um, so that you can relate to those things not as dangerous or scary or uh, things that are going to create more fear. I want you to be able to be able to ad address these things that we see in your body because they know, uh, we know that they're important and we know that they can help change your symptoms. Mostly they do that through the brain, calming the nervous system to the point where even if you feel like you have some control over your situation, you learn an exercise that feels really good or something you get done, you're like, wow, I feel so much, so much better after doing that. You know, that brings down fear and that calms your brain and that tends to reduce your symptoms. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter necessarily, you know, we're, we're talking about this in, in different terms and maybe it starts to get kind of nerdy, but um, what's important is that we do everything we can to, to downplay the fear of the body being damaged, of the body being broken, and start to relate to it in terms of um, the result of the pain. And if we can get to the brain, we can get into the mind, and we can identify some of these other psychosocial stressors, that are uh, playing into keeping the nervous system sensitive, um, addressing those things will also cause your serratus to come back online. They'll free up ankle mobility. They'll improve lumbar spine stability. Um, all these physical changes that I critically evaluate on the table in my clients, they just clear up. And so um, just the takeaway from this video is I want you to understand that we can treat from the bottom up. We can address the body, which creates change in the brain and thus change in symptoms. We can also treat symptoms, pain, from the top down, and we can look at life stresses, and we can look at emotions, and we can look at these psychosocial variables. Those are also gonna result in the change to our physical body, all of those variables that are the result of symptoms. So I wanna try to encourage all of you and to encourage the medical community at large, honestly, to stop pathologizing, to stop medicalizing 
these changes that we see in the body. Stop giving them scary names. Stop making them sound like they're going to be hard to fix. Stop making them sound like they're the result of people being broken or in danger or damaged or vulnerable. I just don't think it's helpful. We're trying to bring down fear. That's the goal of my channel. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in once again. Click the like button, please. If you have questions or need clarification about what the hell I'm talking about, please reach out, leave a comment. Um, share with a friend that you think might be stuck in this cycle of fear and uh, need a little bit of good information to help them create some change in their symptoms. Uh, please share. Check me out on Instagram, at Charlie Merrill. I have unique content there all the time. And lastly, I'm teaching a course May 15th through 17th. That's in like three weeks. It's a virtual course. And a lot of the concepts that I talk about, especially with regard to the psychosocial variables of pain, the mind, the brain, uh, and how it affects our symptoms, how it affects our pain. That's what this course is about. It's uh, especially for clinicians. I appreciate you all following along and engaging so much. Uh, I love talking with you. I love consulting with you online, answering your questions. Take care of yourselves, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.